The Great Paper Caper Story and Illustrations by Oliver Jeffers There was a time in the forest. when everything was not as it should have been. Everyone who lived there had been noticing strange things. Branches, they agreed, should not disappear from trees like that. Someone, they agreed, must be stealing them, and they each in turn blamed the other. It was you. 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 It was me. 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 But they all had a solid alibi, which meant it couldn't possibly be one of them. The tree thief must be someone else. I was getting my hair done. I was playing games. I was swimming. I was frying bacon. I was taking a nap. I was inspecting the trees. It was all very mysterious indeed. An investigation was launched to get to the bottom of things. They were each given a different job to do, so the tree thief could be caught. I'll be the detective, and you can be the judge. Why do I have to be the judge? Why not him? I'm the prosecutor, that's why. Step right up the 112th paper airplane competition. They took photographs, made notes, and examined every leaf. But no matter how hard they investigated, no clues could be found. Then, an eyewitness report led them to some evidence that had blown in not far away. And it had the bear's paw prints all over it. Hello? Police? Hello? Police? They had found their culprit. The bear was brought in to have his picture taken. All right, you all know the drill. When your number is called, please step forward and repeat the phrase you've been given. Understand? Number one, step forward. (sighs) Hand me the trees, you silly woodcutter. Number two, step forward. 
Give me the trees, you silly woodcutter, woodcutter. Ah. Knock it off. Get back. Number three, step forward. <laughs> Hand me the trees, you woodcutter. In English, please. Excuse me? In English. Hand me the trees, you woodcutter. What the woodcutter? Number four, step forward. Hand me the trees, you silly woodcutter. And was kept late into the night to answer questions. Eh? Where were you that night? The next day he confessed everything in court. I'm sorry. There was a paper airplane competition. I wanted to win so badly. I, I wasn't very good. I'd run out of paper. And I had no one ask for help. I'm sorry for taking the trees without asking. I didn't mean to do so much harm. This court is adjourned! Hmm, well, alright they thought. But he'd have to make it up to them by replacing the trees. And a paper airplane competition indeed? Hmm, that sounded interesting. The bear kept his word and made it up to them. And as the others helped him gather up the old paper airplanes, they had an idea. They put them all together and made a new one. The end.